oh my god, I want to eat that so bad. Huge. Got to. Oh no. Ooh, the texture of this is lovely. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is evening and we are doing a nighttime unboxing of the latest Fresh and Flowers box. If you don't know what the Fresh and Flowers box is, it is one of the two, excuse me, two monthly subscription boxes that Lush do. Fresh and Flowers is all about fresh ingredients, packed into a box, it's beautiful, it's got a little posy of flowers normally um, for £35 a month including shipping. The idea behind this is a bit like a self-care pamper each month and you use them when you get them. So there's no kind of hoarding or anything like that, you get to enjoy them when they're at their best. So with that in mind, let's open the box. Oh, I'm loving all the colours. So this is the box that you can see the colours on here already. Mmm, let's open it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that feels weird. Oh my God, look how pretty everything is. Oh, this has got to be the prettiest box yet. Look at that. Oh my God, look how pretty everything is. Let me tell. Oh my God, something smells really good. Right, so it says, now you're talking. We headed into a bluebell wood bathed in fabulous early morning light, young birds calling and a backdrop of Sunday morning church bells. We scavenged fruit bushes for bilberries and blueberries, prepared a mango fruit crush and whipped up a coconut mousse fresh face mask. Your skin is going to be truly pampered this month. This sounds phenomenal and it looks amazing. She says that she just flicks a pair of tweezers off here. I am obsessed with this. Well, since we're talking about the mask, first of all, this is called Coconut Mousse with Summer Fruits. Nutrient rich raspberries are a natural glow giver that smooth and firm the skin, giving a clear and mattified appearance, whipped together with soothing, softening coconut. Now I do have slightly drier skin, so this will be quite interesting to see if my skin feels tight after it, but we'll open it up and see what we get. Oh, that looks like a delicious pudding. Oh my God, I wanna eat that so bad. Wow, that smells amazing. This is so weird because I'm gonna like focus on here. Do you wanna focus on here? I was literally saying, was it, was it last month or I, I, or was it in the, the, the Lush Kitchen vote for July? I was saying that I really wanted something that was kind of like whipped, that you could hear the crackle. So shall we see? I'm gonna stick my fingers in <laughs> and we'll see if it makes this lovely kind of like crackly noise, like all the air popping. That's so spooky. Oh my God, it smells so good. The raspberries are so strong. Oh God, right, here we go. Do you know, <laughs> there's no um, kind of, oh my God, that smells so good. There's no kind of um, moussey, kind of air bubbly kind of popping, but the texture is phenomenal. I can feel some sort of green in there. Oh my God, that's, <laughs> I really want to eat that. I really, really want to eat that. Please, obviously don't eat it, but like, wow, oh my God. This, this smell needs to be a body lotion or a shower gel. Oh my God. Pfft, smells so good. Right, I need to wipe my hands, one second. I can't, I can't get over that. That hands down has to be the nicest smelling mask. I think I've smelled from Lush. And I know I love Mr. Pumpkin Face because it smells like orange custard creams, but oh my God. Did I say there was another face mask that I really love the smell of? This, oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, it really, it smells, I know they put the whole fruit in, but it really smells like muddled raspberries. Oh my God, we're like, what, 10 minutes in? And I'm like talking about bloody, just the smell of this one product. So it's got kaolin, coconut yogurt, glycerin, cream coconut, fresh raspberries, fresh red currants, Water, fresh black currants, bergamot oil, Davana oil, Tajitis oil, benzoin resinoid for a little bit of cakey goodness. Oh my God, so maybe I can smell the blackberries as well. Fuck, <laughs> just, I swear to God, if Lush ever want to make like a dessert, like if they want to open up like an ethical cake business or a pudding business, this should be the first thing that they make. Fuck, it smells so good. Okay, 
Well, things can only go up from here. We've got a beautiful bunch of posies and a little doily. Oh my God, these smell phenomenal. Oh, do you know what it is? I think I like this box even more because purple is my favorite color and there's so much purple in here. These smell and look amazing. I can't wait to put these in water. I love a doily. God, I've not seen a doily since my grandma's. Actually, I'm more my nana. My nana used to have doilies. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, do you know what it is? If I hadn't got the leaves all over it, that would have been quite nice to put my vase on top of. Okay, this isn't really calling to me. I don't know. Whoop. This has been made by Dan. And this looks, this is like a little meringue. Is this a body wash, do you think? This thing here. Look, it's like pink and yellow. Oh, wow. Let me have a smell. It's kind of crumbled a little bit. Do you know what it is? I will give them their dues. A meringue is a very fragile thing. And the fact that it's made it through the through the post and it's only got a little bit of damage. Oh, has that got whipped shea butter in the middle? And it's 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 like hardly broken. Look at it there. It literally looks. Oh, oh my god. It smells so sugary sweet from the marsh eh, from the marsh from the meringue. Is that creamy candy scented? Or comforter? It's just very mild, but it's so sugary sweet. Oh God, that smells amazing. That's gotta be a body wash, right? We've got, I don't know what this thing is, but holy cow, this, maybe this is a cleanser or a body mask. This looks phenomenal. Do you think it's supposed to go this way? Oh, that smells lovely. That is, is that, that's not the same smell as that, but that, that reminds me of something. We've had something in the smell, but that, I don't know what the heck this is, but, oh my God, and I forgot to say that the box is called Summer Puddings Fresh Box. No wonder, they all look like, oh my God, I've got purple fingers. Um, it literally is like all summer puddings. Mm. This reminds me of something, right? I'm gonna have to pop this on this pot here and give my fingers a little wipe. Is this a little bar of soap or a cleanser? It looks divine. This looks like panna cotta, this bit here. Wow, look at this. And I know I have said in previous boxes, if this is a bar of soap, that we get a lot of soap. We do, but I'm so bad. Is that a glassy cherry in there? Oh my God. Oh, that's gotta be comforter scented, right? But then what's this side? I don't know, it smells so good though. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's currenty. Yeah, that's gotta be comforter scented. It smells amazing. It's very creamy, so I'm just gonna pop it down. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then we have some iPads. So we're just gonna open these up. <sighs> oh, I like the look of these. I don't know how well you guys always see like the insides. Oh, they got stars on. Oh my God, so cute. I don't know how well you can see. Like, oh yeah, you can, oh, that's good. But yeah, oh, do you know what it is? Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> that feels so good. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I'm in dire need of a pamper. Well, so far, I am living for this box. Um, oh, I've got a couple of little flowers come loose. So, oh, lovely. Okay, so the bunch of posies. Wrapped in a doily are flowers from UK growers, stocks, sweet willems and cornflowers. Please give them all a good drink when you receive them. So I will do that. Then we've got the blueberry iPads. While wearing, excuse me, while wearing your fresh face mask, place the iPads over your eyes with bilberry infusion, cooling fresh melon and fresh blueberries to ease puffiness while carrageen and softens. You might want to straight, take these straight out of the fridge to feel full effect, use only once or cut in half and use directly under the eyes. I like how they're doing that, yeah. Cause then if you do it under the eyes, you get two goals instead of one. So you've got uh, glycerin water, fresh garlic melon. You've got bilberry infusion, fresh blueberries, which you can kind of see all shredded up and carrageen in. So we we'll put them there. We have got the We've talked about the coconut mousse, but I'll tell you what it says. Apply your fresh face mask. Nutrient rich raspberries are brilliant for the skin. They are a natural glow giver. That's, oh, well, we've already said that. Smooth and firm the skin and give clear and mattified appearance. Red currants and black currants protect the skin and help give a radiant appearance. While, while soothing coconut moisturizes and softens, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse off. So maybe, maybe this won't be too mattified. I'm gonna pop it on and then we can kind of see what it's like, but I'll pop that on in a second. Ooh, right, okay. 
This is a face cleanser and it is huge. So you've got the blueberry roly poly. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh my God, it's Katachri Cosmetic Scented. That's how I know the smell. Take a pinch from this creamy cleanser and add a little water to make a paste. Apply it to your face and wash off in circular movements. Blueberries rejuvenate the skin and give a gorgeous glow. Blueberries are really antioxidant rich and they're really good for fighting free radicals as well on the skin. So mm, my, my blueberry roly poly is kind of smoosh things. So we've got, I can't, oh my God, can I see on the other side? Not really. I know it's got kale and fresh blueberries. Fresh aloe vera gel, coconut yogurt, fine sea salt, chamomile blue, uh, sweet wild orange oil, carrageen extract and cornstarch and something else that I can't see because it's kind of been a bit squidgy. So I'm going to put that down. That's going to last me ages. I can't wait to time that. And yes, this is a soap. This is summer pudding soap. Um, oh my God, it smells really good. This soap is a delight to wash with, made with handfuls of ground almonds when mixed with water, a gentle, uh, with, oh. <laughs> This soap is a delight to wash with, made with handfuls of ground almonds, which when mixed with water are a gentle buffing cleanser. They produce a soothing milk full of vitamin E that helps rejuvenate the skin. So you could use this as a body wash as well as a hand soap. So you've got in here, uh, water, you've got rapeseed oil, coconut oil, you have got ground almonds, glassy cherries, I knew glassy cherries were in there, uh, you've got extra virgin coconut oil, butcher oil, grapefruit oil, almond essential oil, oliban and resinoid, ylang ylang oil, titanium dioxide, sodium chloride, gardenia extract, citric acid. I feel like this might be comfort scented, but it doesn't, I don't know. Anyway, let me go get some water. And then we can go put this stuff on. So one second, I need to go wash my hands as well. <clears throat> so I completely forgot to, oh no, oh no. Oh sugar, I'll right, we'll have to get the Uber for that in a second. Right, okay, fuck. <sighs> okay, so we have, after I've just dropped it all over the floor, the Mango Meringue Crush. Add a little water and crush and rub in to make a creamy polishing foam. Apply to the body when skin's damp in the shower is best. Burst in with fresh mango, which rich in exfoliant enzymes that give a gloss to your skin. Mmm. Oh, lovely. So, uh, you've got caster sugar, aquafaba, you've got, I can't see everything, cocoa butter, you've got cream of tartar, uh, fresh mango and... Xanthan gum, uh, you've got sheer butter. I can't see everything because of the roly poly. So this sounds really fun. I'm, I, I'm gonna have to get this off the bloody floor now. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this back in its wrapper and I'm gonna put it over here so don't get it wet. Otherwise it'll be like, oh my God, I almost dropped it again. It'll be like, have you seen that meme of like the raccoon trying to like wash the candy floss and it all just goes and it's like, where's it gone, where's it gone? There you go. Right, so first of all, let's cleanse me face because whenever you are uh, going to put a face mask on whether it's from Lush or from somewhere else you should always give your face a wash so you're taking away anything that could interfere with it essentially dirt grime dead skin cells makeup things like that so I've got a jug of fresh water it's really hot and I'm going to take some of this cleanser and if you didn't know how to uh, do a cleanser you're just going to rip a bit off oh I like the color inside I think this should be enough for my face put this over here my table is so full you're going to take a pinch Ow, that water is so hot. And you're going to add, can you see, some water to it. And then you're going to mix it into a paste. Wow, that is so creamy. This literally looks like a, um, like a cleanser version of Catastrophe. I've just dribbled this everywhere. Okay, and then I'm just going to put it over my skin. This is very creamy. You can just feel a little bit of the blueberries, like the seeds. A little bit like, again, like Catastrophe. Um, I'm gonna get up here. Oh, I feel so nice. It's gonna last forever, this. So you can kind of see the blueberries on my hand. Okay, so I've got a face cloth and we're gonna wash this off. This feels lovely. It's very, like I say, very smooth, very gentle. So if you do have more sensitive skin, it doesn't feel like too abrasive or anything like that. And I always find that if you use a flannel, 
it does take things off a lot quicker and if you have like a face mask or a facial cleanser that doesn't have a scrub in it but you're wanting a slightly deeper cleanse using a flannel you don't have to use a fancy thing this is like 35 pence or 50 pence from Wilkinson's you can take it off and get a bit of a buff at the same time um so yeah I'm just gonna take this off and sometimes I find that because when face masks don't have a scrub in sometimes it can be a little bit trickier to get off because you don't have that friction to take it off with that feels very nice oh yeah that feels really soft I mean I, obviously it's a little bit tacky still because it's a little bit damp but it feels smooth it feels soft my skin doesn't feel too stripped it doesn't feel like tight if you know what I mean so let's get this face mask on and I'll tell you what it feels like I, you all know what it's what I think it smells like you know I think it smells amazing so let's put this on oh the texture of this is lovely oh yeah so it's got like the slightest scrub in it I wouldn't say like it's not I don't know how well you can see if you can see like the bits on my hand it's not on the same sort of like scrub as say um do you know I would say it's a, it's because it's got you can feel the raspberry seeds it's a little bit like how catastrophe cosmetic doesn't have a scrub in it but you can feel the blueberry seeds it's like a slightly more scrubby version of that because it's the raspberry seeds that you can feel scrub but that feels amazing you can sort of hear like the air bubbles and the mousse kind of a little bit pop it's not as kind of that's a really bad impression you know that moussey kind of crackly noise that I was kind of hoping for when I had seen that it was like moussey but that is a fantastic texture and a little really does go a long way um you should get really about four to six faces out of a fresh face mask and I just find that if people don't get that they're probably just putting too much on um so I'm probably gonna get the full six out of this judging by how much I've put on and how far it's spread so I'm just going to give this a little wipe and I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes and I will see you in 10 minutes. Oh, I'm going to put my iPads on and I'm, uh, yeah, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Oh, actually, hang on. Let me do it underneath because I like an under eye one. So again, take your iPad, get a pair of scissors and cut down the middle and then that way, because sometimes I find them to be just a little bit heavy on the eye Ooh. we go and that'll just depuff and I'll see you in 10 minutes okay so I'm back I've taken off my iPads and we're gonna take off the face mask feels kind of dry to the touch I know sometimes like they might still feel tacky this feels kind of dry-ish so let's go soak my clean cloth I don't know why I'm like flannel I don't know why I'm sitting like that. Uh, into some water. And we're going to wash this off. Alex was saying how nice it smelled as well. The face mask. So I imagine that you'll probably want to pinch some. I've got it all in my hair. Amazing. Ready for work. <laughs> you can hear an owl outside. Can you hear that? The owl? Right. Let's pat the skin dry and we'll do a fit like a a touch test. Oh well that feels lovely. Oh, I've got it on my hair, I've got it on my hands. That smells and feels amazing my skin doesn't feel too tight oh I've got oh my god I've just found a whole load of my hair <laughs> um yeah it feels lovely and soft it feels like kind of almost like a little bit dewy but again I think that's because it's just been wiped off I don't feel I'm just having a look in the mirror I don't feel like but I always put on a face moisturiser anyway, so I'm just going to grab... What face moisturiser am I using? Oh, it's hidden behind my jug. So I'm just going to put on some Wishful Face Cream. This is a little bit heavier, um, which might be quite nice if it's slightly more 
matter of fine, so I'm just going to whack that on. But yeah, I really enjoy that face mask. I think it's amazing and they absolutely should bring it out of stores. I know I say that a lot about the face mask, but I feel like if I if I say that, I don't say it for every face mask, but I feel like if, if I say it, that's a seal of approval, but I do think that that one should come out into it would into into stores. I think it would make a a lovely seasonal face mask for people to try. Oh, I've, I've blooming got it everywhere. I've done a terrible job of wiping this off. But yeah, that is my face. I've got a couple of little breakouts forming here and here. But I think I look lovely and glowy, just like what it says. So yes, that is the box. I think my favourite thing is the face mask and the roly-poly cleanser because it just smells so good. I'm very excited to try the meringue and the soap. But yeah, I'd love to know what you think of this box down below. Do you regret not getting it? Um, do you wish it would come to stores? But yeah, I'd love to know what you think about it um, and what kind of cleansers and stuff you've been using at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. Um, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end and you can follow me on social media here. Yeah. So I will see you next video. Bye.